his statute still Oh, that my God would grant me grace To know and do his will Order my footsteps by your word My soul too apt to stray A stricter watch to keep And should I hear forget your way Restore your wandering sheep Make me to watch How many times have we said to our children, it'll be okay, go back to sleep. It was just a bad dream. Or how many times do we tell someone, it'll be okay, it'll work out the way it's supposed to work out. How many times do we try to calm someone who's upset? As we live in this world that's upside down, as coronavirus still is on the increase, the political unrest that's taking place. Maybe a friend of ours has been telling you, don't worry, it will be okay. Well, there's some truth into it. It may be hard for us to take that at this time, to, to find that calm, to find that peace. But you know, there is someone that we can turn to Someone that has promised to help us, and that is the Lord. And in our reading for today, Nehemiah, one of our Lord's prophets, was telling the children of Israel not to grieve, not to fear, but to trust in the Lord. Nehemiah was sent back to Jerusalem after the children of Israel's captivity in Babylon. He went back to Jerusalem to encourage those that were returning, to encourage them to remain faithful, not to turn their back on the Lord. And one day he was reading that law, that law of Moses, that word of God to them, and listen to these words that he says. Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Do not grieve. The Lord is with you. He is by your side. He is your strength. No doubt he reminded them that the Lord was with the children of Israel when they were captive in Babylon for those 70 years. Those 70 years that seemed like a lifetime. Being in a foreign land, the way their hearts longed to go back to their country, to go back to Jerusalem. And now... They were returning. They were rebuilding that temple, that temple that was destroyed. Their world seemed upside down too. It wasn't the same. This, this city that we thought we remembered, there's nothing left. Do not grieve. Do not grieve, Nehemiah reminds them, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. God is still with us today. He's that place that we can go for that strength and for that help. 
that God that loved us, that God that sent his son for us, hasn't he promised to be with us? Didn't Jesus remind us in the Sermon on the Mount? Who of us by worrying could add a single hour, a single day to our life? But God still loved us. God is still with us. That just as he takes care of the birds of the air, so he's taking care of us. A God that loved us and has given us a Savior, that's where our strength needs to be. That's where our heart is to be based on that foundation, that solid rock of God's love. The promises. A promises that our Savior spoke when he said that he'll be with us the very end of the ages. A promise that our Savior spoke to the, his disciples on the night that he was betrayed that I will return for you. A promise of God that is with us each and every day. Isn't that supposed to be our strength? Isn't that supposed to be where we turn for help? What was it like for those children of Israel to go back to Jerusalem? Yes, their world was chaotic, just as chaotic as ours is today. It's a different world that we live in. Did any of us ever dream that we would be wearing masks this long? Did any of us ever dream that we'd be going to a store and, and everybody would be wearing a mask? Did we ever think that we'd be working from our homes? Or how many people are laid off and how many have loved ones that are in the hospital that are sick with that COVID-19? Yet God is still our strength. We can still find that joy in what God has given us. Be still and know that I am God, we're told in the Psalms. Be still and know that I am there for you. I'm the one who has loved you. I'm the one that gave my son for you, for that salvation, so that you could be mine. No, he doesn't promise us that things will be taken away. He doesn't promise us a rose garden in this world. But he says, I am there for you. I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. And a God that has loved us that much, he's not going to leave us alone. I'm sure when the children of Israel went back to Jerusalem, it wasn't the same for them. It wasn't the same at all. But if you read that book of Nehemiah, what he wrote, you'll see that joy that's in their hearts. A joy when the city walls were rebuilt, when the temple was rebuilt, when things were somewhat getting back to normal. Be with that God. Pray that God will be with you and give you that strength each day to go to her, to realize that your loved one is in God's hands, to ask for God's protection to watch over you in this world. Let God be that, that joy in your hearts, a joy as you look at his creation, as, as you enjoy his blessings that are new to us each and every day. Yes, may the joy of the Lord be with you. I could say don't grieve. But it's, it's very easy to grieve in this world today. It's very easy to see the pain that, that we have. The uncertainty in this world, the chaos, the chaos that we have in this world, that chaotic living. But remember who's there for us. It is God. God is there for us. A God that is the same yesterday, today, and forever. A God that said he will never leave us. May that be your strength in these coming days. And we pray, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love. May you be that joy. May you be that strength in our hearts. We do not deserve your blessings, for we sin daily. But in your love, you sent Jesus to be our Savior. In this world that's been turned upside down, 
We ask you to be with us, to be that rock, to be that strength, that fortress that we can go to. Be with us every day. Be with our loved ones. May we enjoy the blessings. May we remember that you are by our side, that no one can take us from your hand. May that give us that strength now and forever. Amen. Yes, may the Lord be that strength. May you remember that peace that he gives. Have a blessed week in our Heavenly Father. skies let the creator's praise arise hallelujah hallelujah let the redeemer's name be sung through every land by every tongue hallelujah hallelujah I know that my redeemer lives what comfort this sweet sentence gives hallelujah 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 a hymn of glory let us sing new songs throughout the world shall ring